Uh, welcome everyone to this introduction um, to the data analytics on AWS class. So this is our first uh, lecture and uh, in this class we will talk the basics of the AWS and also the basics of the data analytics on AWS. Um, we cannot touch very deep about AWS so just provide the basics because we just have one week and also as la later you will know that AWS has uh, thousands of services and features so it is impossible to learn and also to know all those features within one week so our focus will be the data analytics and also we'll give you some basic uh, ideas and concept of what is AWS, so Amazon Web Service. And the other cloud computing platform like Google and also Microsoft, they have the similar structures. So hopefully after this class, uh, you will be more prepared to learn more about cloud computing and also big data analytics on either AWS or any other uh, cloud computing platform. Uh, so I am the instructor of this class. Uh, my name is Xue Bing Wei. Uh, I am an assistant professor at the School of the Integrated Science in GMU. Uh, I am also the AWS Educate Cloud Ambassador. Um, I have uh, been using AWS for more than three years and I really enjoy using AWS, especially that now we have a AWS Educate program so that pre or pro provide us uh, free credits that we can learn how to use AWS. <clears throat> so here are some of my contact information. So this is my GMU email. Um, this is my Twitter account. So you're uh, you're welcome to follow my Twitter accounts or connect me with LinkedIn. And this is my website. And this is my virtual office hours, which is on, on WebEx. So if you have any questions about the labs, uh, the assignments, etc., you can send me email or come to my office uh, during my office hours. Or you can ask questions in the Slack uh, workspace. So Slack is a uh, uh, right now is a very popular uh, communication tool that. Uh, we can uh, talk with each other and also we can ask questions and we can share ideas, etc. <clears throat> um, I do have uh, online tutorials uh, talking about data analyti uh, analytics on AWS. Uh, so this is my YouTube channel. So I have a set of video tutorials like talking about uh, data mining, data visualization, Python, SQL, etc. So this is a tutorial that I talk about uh, data an analytics on AWS. So feel free to check those out. And also my GitHub, uh, where I post those source code, like the Python code, the SQL code, etc., and also the data. So you can find out those uh, data set, SQL code, Python, etc., from my GitHub. OK. <clears throat> So why the cloud computing is very, very popular. So we know that for many years that cloud computing is the number one skills on LinkedIn. Uh, so the reason it's very popular is because uh, in the past, so if you want to do some data analytics or if you do any like host a website, so uh, you need to buy those very expensive hardwares in a local environment. OK, and you have the personnel, you, you need to hire those experts to maintain your infrastructures like computers, hard disk, etc. So that is very, very expensive. OK, so nowadays we can use the cloud computing. So that means that everything <laughs> is in the cloud like AWS. Um, or Amazon, uh, or Google, or Microsoft. So they maintain those infra infrastructures for you. So what you need to do is that 
you don't need to buy those infra infrastructures, those hardwares. You can just use their resources in the cloud. OK, so either for the machine learning, uh, data analytics, data visualization, data storage, etc. So uh, you just pay for what you use. OK, so that will save your cost and you don't need to hire those experts to, you know, uh, 24 seven to um, care about your infrastructures. And you can access everywhere. So because as long as you have the Internet access, OK, so you can access that working from home, um, etc. So that is why that cloud computing is extremely popular. And AWS is one cloud computing platform. And you can see that with uh, AWS uh, skills, like certif if you are certificated uh, developer at the associate level, so that is the average salary that you can make. OK, so that is far way higher than my <laughs> my salary. OK, um, and also we know that in Virginia, so Amazon is going to build the second headquarter in Virginia. So uh, we can see there will be a, a workforce uh, demand that in our state. So that's why that in 2019, AWS Educator um, collaborate with Virginia on the statewide cloud degree offering. And uh, similarly, in that same year, um, we know that George Mason and also Northern Virginia Community College, they just announced their first bachelor degree of the cloud computing. OK, so this class will help you to understand the basics of AWS and hopefully will help you to be more prepared that in the future, if you want to dive deep into AWS and you know that how you can get started. OK, and also we are also talk about data analytics um, so that uh, how give you just um, show you some cases that we can analyze big data by using um, cloud computing or by using AWS. OK, so what exactly is AWS? So let's just give you a very brief introduction. Uh, AWS is Amazon Web Service. Um, so it's a collection of the remote computing services. Uh, so they provide a lot of different services that online that you can do that uh, without maintaining those hardware in your local environment. So for example, you can store your data. And you can also maintain data in the databases. Uh, you can do cloud computing, like you can calculate, um, uh, make the calculations, um, analyze your data, visualize your data, train the machine learning models. Uh, you can also organize uh, your re online resources together to create a network and more. So for example, right now AWS has a lot of AI services like facial recognitions, um, neutral, uh, neutral language process, etc. So you can use those services online. And as in 2018, there are already more than 5,000 services and features. So <clears throat> I guess that no one on the earth really knows that all those five more than 5,000 services on AWS. Uh, so in our class, we will just select a few of those services that are relevant to data analytics and also some fundamental services on AWS. So we cannot cover all those services. And I don't think there's any person that know all the services on AWS. <clears throat> OK, uh, so let's compare those AWS uh, services side by side. So on the left side, those are the local environment. So those are traditional ways that if you want to do the data analytics or if you want to uh, maintain your business, so you need those databases, servers, routers, and also administrators, firewalls, etc. 
So on AWS, they all they provide all those services for you. So for example, if you want to store the data, you can use the S3. S3 is a solution for data lake. Uh, we will cover that later. And you can use RDS. So that is a solution for relational database, uh, which we'll talk that later. For servers, you can use EC2 instance. OK, so that is basically a virtual cloud computer that you can use. Um, and if you want to create your own networks, and you can use Amazon VPC, so that that is a virtual private cloud. So that basically that can connect all your uh, cloud resources together. And for security purposes, and you can use uh, security groups. So that is similar to firewalls. And you can also define the RAM. So that is identity and access management. So that can control that which person can access your resources and which resources or which services can access other uh, resources or services.